we're hosting action as as at Assange action for Assange uh, live streaming on my channel just to make sure that we're live and there we are awesome fantastic hi everyone this is Chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream and today I think everybody's been looking forward to this one we're gonna read ourselves one of the golden um, holy grails in comics I keep on calling the golden grail because it's from the golden age of comics but a whole holy grail something something that I personally have been at some point I've built up the whole collection we're gonna read mad number two from 1952 from EC comics and the people that have worked on this thing are huge there are so many people that have worked on this thing the giants of industry really the pioneers of comic books right and EC comics was definitely one of the most sought after and it is one of the most sought after comic book uh, collections that anybody can have right if you're I don't know how many people out there have a complete EC comic book collection but I don't think there are too many and uh, maybe one day maybe one day we'll acquire it we'll see where it goes aside from that I'll save the intro for people rolling in wait until everyone rolls in and stuff like this uh, for the comic book specifically tragic Bronson alert how are you doing good afternoon Chicho hope you're doing well doing fantastic doing fantastic been looking forward to this reading by the way um, let me give you give you the intro is who I am and what I'm up to I am on patreon patreon.com backslash chicho chycho if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this project I don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike okay so if you like if you want to follow this work see where what we're up to what we're doing uh, patreon is a fantastic way to do it major shark how are you doing chicho hope you're having a wonderful day i can't wait to explore this comic with you much love it's same here man much love right back and i can't wait uh to go through this thing um there's like five stories in this uh, four stories in this and there's advertisements and text pages one one page text stuff so we'll take a look to see what it's uh what it's about nikki how are you doing chicho what's up my brother reading something valuable i see reading something valuable <laughs> danite how are you doing what's up brother uh twitching jason afternoon chicho super weird i was literally just watching one of your recent comic book readings on youtube awesome awesome i gotta uh once i do upgrade to the to the system we, we'll get back into doing the edited comic book videos I think my, my editing computer has blown, blown a gasket it's not handling processing video very well so we'll have to wait until until we do the edited version of the comic book readings until then we'll do live stream versions of them right and we'll do live streams as well as the edited version of course Ripper how are you doing greetings Chicho I actually was just backboarding some old mad last night N not this old though excited awesome by the way ripper the secret wars you were talking about that uh, has kicked up in price it is i believe from the 1985 series the original series that's kicked up and it's the beyonder i believe that they're going to be introducing so from the sounds of it, the way the comic book the prices on the comic books are reflecting the way they're moving because they're kicking up huge uh like secret wars from 1 to 12 excluding number 8 which is the first appearance of the symbiote costume the 11 issues you could have bought for less than a hundred dollars last time I checked was a couple of years ago two three four years ago right right now issue number one is flipping for a few hundred dollars insane serious movements and all the other ones they're flipping for uh, a lot more than what they were going for right tang po how are you doing hope you're doing well my friend doing well doing well tang how are you doing long time no see long time no see i hope you guys are faring well bunker down there might be another wave coming okay message me uh danite just chilling watching old cartoons nice old cartoons are the best some of them anyway 
Spider-Man. How's it going? By the way, gang, I think after this uh, reading, we're going to raid Spider-Man's uh, uh, channel. Um, if he's still up for it. Everyday Gatsby, how are you doing? Wonder which issue was the first appearance of... Ah, I looked this up. Everyday Gatsby, I looked this up. Their flagship character, their flagship character. Alfred E. Newman, I have to look it up again, right? It, it's multiple... It's There is a cover appearance. There is sort of a hint of a Alfred E. Newman. There is an original version of an Alfred E. Newman. I believe it occurred in... Uh, I, sh I should have the numbers with me. It's in the 20s. I believe number 21 was a mention of Alfred E. Newman, sort of a prototype. And then 23, 24, 25. And then there's one, uh, which one is it? It's number 20 or 50, 60. Oh, man. Uh, and there's one. I, you know what? I think I have my numbers wrong. It's uh, in the 1960s, 5860. This is number 1952. Hold on a second. Let me find this out for you. It, anyway, it's in a few different issues. I will be tracking some of them down. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not 20s. My apologies. I believe it occurs in um, issue number 60. So take issue number 60 and sandwich that. There is a whole bunch of appearance of Alfred E. Newman. Okay. Let me do here. Let me do just do one thing. I want to do this. Hey. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to do this later. I'm, I'm going to at some point try to track it down. Okay. I looked this up, but because I got so much dates in my mind right now regarding this issue, I'm sort of um, getting m mucked up with it. Okay, there's one issue where there's balloons on it, and Alfred E. Newman makes his first cover appearance in that issue. Okay, but he's made appearances pre that issue, so a lot of people are mistaken with that comic, that issue being his first appearance. Um, there's mentions and minor appearance of him before that. Okay, Alfred E. Newman was amazing. I had the stickers when I was in elementary school. Good afternoon, Catholic traditionalist. Oh, Holy Graham. What's up, Chicho? Hope life's treating you well. Happy I could get in on the stream. My notification flex. My notification hasn't been coming through recently, and a lot of streams are around 3 a.m. for me. I, so I'm glad I could drop in. Glad to have you. So 3 a.m. You know what, gang? I'm going to go through this, the chat. Speedy Gonzalez, do our intro. Uh, Cheryl, how are you doing? Uh, hope you're doing well. Will mostly be lurking, but can't think of a better gang to listen in on while getting, uh, getting making birthday pies. Birthday pies, sweet, sweet. Ripper Chicho, I did see that, and thanks. Uh, that's awesome. But I was referring to the 2000 series, especially number one. It features the first appearance of Lucia von Bartas, the successor to Doctor Doom. She's rumored to be in the next MCU movie, introducing Latveria and uh, eventually Dr. Really? Okay, okay. Thanks for that. Uh, I'll look into it again. I did a Speedy Gonzalez lookup last time, or yesterday, I guess. Uh, right? Catholic, my son is uh, meeting soon with his scout troop to start putting gear together for camp, and my daughter has a ballet recital this evening. I will be consequently not be all that active on the stream catholic traditions take care of the kids and ballet is amazing graham chicho in the next round of live streams can we do something earlier in the day so i can get on those raids i really think it's uh, ready for a boost okay graham for sure let me know what time uh would work best for you on discord and we'll set it up Padre, padre, padre. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Chicho. Just stepping in real quick to say hi. My car blew up uh, this week. Oh, no. So I'm going, uh, doing some car hunting. I'll uh, definitely watch this when it comes out on YouTube. Hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend. Thanks, Padre. Thank you very much. Take care of the car. Yikes. Car blown up is not a good thing. Um, finishing my intro. We are live streaming this on Twitch. Twitch.tv backslash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. You want to participate in the chat? Twitch is where you want to be at. 
okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter not twitter they <laughs> yeah, on twitter gavs minds vklo and now we're on parlor okay and i'll include the links in the description of this video okay uh, due to censorship we're decentralizing mad and at some point we're going to kick into another uh once i get caught up with soundcloud stuff we'll kick in another video sharing platform as well okay uh a lot of the live streams discussions we're having i i am i will be loading on the audio to soundcloud anything live stream that we're doing right now that has visuals involved we're probably not going to load onto soundcloud for now until we do a major upgrade okay and the video will be going on bitchute and youtube okay this is a comic book reading mm, should be allowed everywhere okay and if you're on youtube uh if you want to support this work by joining youtube membership is a fantastic way to support this project okay i'm gonna take these guys down and gang should we get into this should we get into this how are we doing for time have we given enough time for people to come in <laughs> we've given about 11 minutes for people to roll in okay what i'm going to do uh we haven't seen elder god in yet what's up chicho glad to be here jackson how are you or jack how are you doing jack let's go let's go bar hope you're doing well hope you're doing well should we let it let it ride for another three minutes we're gonna let it ride for another three minutes give people time to uh to come into this okay um because i think we're gonna read almost everything in this book as much as we can in the two hours allowing uh twitching jason i actually listened to one of your soundcloud podcasts the other day while working the audio format is great for multitasking awesome awesome elder god right on you're in i held it off i didn't see you pop in so i was waiting uh, yeah i'm liking the soundcloud stuff gang uh just loading it up i've queued up a few things to load up this week i'm gonna get caught up with those as well as loading the um their videos to bit shoot as well or they're already on there i gotta let them lose they're the personal finance stuff so th there might be little quiet periods uh and then we kick things up because i'm doing some stuff in the background processing and whatnot and then loading up uh but we'll we're gonna keep our rhythm going we're gonna keep our, our rhythm going lark how are you doing lark bark 55 hey how are you doing was just thinking about you too and morning good morning lonely piggy right on right on you're in for a comic book reading chicho how warm is it out there in bc today we're having another beautiful day here in montreal hope you're doing well it was cold in the morning it was windy um, the winds died down a little bit but we're getting gusts so finger crossed we don't get cut right but it should be okay it should be okay and it's warmed up a fair bit so it's pretty sweet it got a whole bunch of stuff planted in the patio whole bunch of stuff we went and got additional things to plant in the patio squash and whatnot uh cucumbers um so the patio is pretty decked out it's pretty sweet uh it's it's fantastic jack chicho if you've got time to have a quick question about if you have any tips to make edibles with minimal scent Oof, i don't i haven't been into i I've, I've made edibles before i made the butter and stuff like this i just don't enjoy the edibles too much i find them too strong for me am a m n d society is so fucked up we are demolishing each other for nothing men are hit okay i'm gonna skip this the politics stuff we'll keep the politics on politics brother um we're doing mad reading today and mad is it it's a mad mad world chicho you're so lucky to have nice weather there it's already 95 by 10 a.m i gram that's hot everyday gatsby i'll always remember the first issue of mad i bought it was 1989 and the cover featured alfred e newman as batman to coincide i remember that issue with the first tim burton batman film i think i begged my mom for it at the grocery store i still have it stashed somewhere nice nice everyday gatsby 
And I remember that issue. Ex Nito, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, gang, let's get into the reading. Uh, hey, Chicho, I highly recommend you check out uh, Strange Brains Parts. He's a brilliant YouTuber who discusses comics with the bio and history behind it. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. If you link it up on our Discord, I'll, I'll, I'll remember to check it out, brother. Okay. Thanks so much. I've never done that. I just thought in the intro. Yeah, be careful with edibles, Jack. They can be extremely strong. Okay, extremely strong. Uh, and it's... Uh, if you got a sensitive stomach, it might send you on a loop to loop. Okay, just letting you know. Gang, I'm going to turn off notifications. Oh, thank you for the follow. Kaki123. <laughs> okay, I'm turning this guy off. Boop. Creepers. I'm going to turn off the chat on the video. Okay. And I'll keep an eye on chat um, to a certain degree. But I really want to focus on the reading. Okay. So we're just going to focus on Mad number two today. And I'll give I'll let you know who the people are in this issue. But there's so many amazing people on this issue. It, it, it would take a whole day to go through the history of all these people. So I'm just going to drop the names and just give a minor intro. And just we're going to get into the reading ASAP, gang. So the chat's off, gang. And I'm going to take this video down okay let me have a sip of tea and i got chocolate black tea today let's do this let's take a look at mad number two <laughs> okay let's take this down and this down i'll see you guys after the reading gang we're in how much 17 minutes so we start the reading in 17 and the glare you're seeing here is just because of the mylar that's why I put the little rag uh, behind it so the glare um, doesn't overwhelm people and we're gonna take this out of mylar right away right and just so you know uh, this is mad let me take it out, out of the thing because we want to get this whole glare out of the way and I'll give you this we, I just recently bought this gang. Okay, this is Mad Number Two. Came out in December 1952. It's graded at good, 4.0. Okay, we ended up paying 112 dollars and 40 cents US, or 152.50 Canadian. Okay, it's got three extra staples in it, and it's got tape on the spine. And this comic book haul is a huge thank you to two people that contributed funds directly um, through PayPal okay supporting this work one of the people um, specifically mentioned that they wanted the funds to be put towards comic books and I was glad to do that and the other person um, and they're lurking here I don't think the first person is lurking here mentioned that um, uh, the second person we could use the funds for whatever but since we were a comic book hunting we put it towards comic books okay and it's a beautiful book is it a good it's got tape on it some people would uh, grade this lower than a good some people because the cover is beautiful would grade this possibly good plus I don't think it'll make it to the good fine range okay but it could be good plus and some people might grade it at good fine okay let's get rid of this tape because we don't want tape around this thing at all okay let's take it out and let me give you the little background on this just to just so you appreciate uh who you know who the people are that worked on this thing they are basically some of the giants in the comic book industry this is from ec comics okay and ec comics let me get this focused off for you hopefully it focuses there you go ec comics an entertaining comic so ec comics came out of december 
January okay and he came out by monthly mad magazine okay now EC comics was around in 1944 that's when it was founded and initially it was it got into doing children's books and educational books okay and the person that started this company was max games right and then in 1947 when his son Williams Gaines took over the company he started focusing more on war comics horror comics science fiction comics so he took the company in a completely different direction as well as humor comics right now before mad magazine came out it was the war and horror books that were really uh huge during that time they brought in a lot of the funds for ec comics and these guys were <laughs> get the eyes focused here look at him look at him for some i think there's a little bit of glare so i was having a hard time focusing on it right and the guy on the cover here is saying i i feel it in my bones someone is giving me the evil eye right and we ended up buying this like a couple of weeks ago okay with the funds that were sent in there are three extra staples here take a look at this thing there's this brown guy that you see here that's tape on the spine okay so this is the original staple this one would probably be the original staple up here and then there's a staple here there's a staple here and there's a staple here and I'm not sure what these extra st staples do in regards to the grade but the cover is beautiful there isn't any major big chunks missing in this okay and this is as far as i know the only cover that jack davis has done for ec comics okay or let me rephrase that the only cover that i that i know of that jack davis has done for mad comics okay and mad ran as a comic book from issue number one to issue number 23 okay up to 1955 uh, right so mad started off in 1952 and went all the way to 1955 as a comic book right format but what happened was the comic code kicked in censorship kicked in in the comic book industry and with that censorship they weren't able to get advertisements they weren't able to get distribution and whatnot so what matt did was basically transfer over into a magazine format and i believe they did that because the magazine format of the comics didn't have to abide by the comic code okay what ec comics did at the time as well because the censorship kicked in in large part to a lot of the books that mad magazine was putting out oh sorry not mad magazine but ec comics was putting out the horror the science fiction the th thrills uh, uh what do you call it the murder mystery uh the crime stuff the war comics that they were putting out the fanatics really in our society freaked out right so they basically made it impossible for ec comics to continue with their business model of publishing adult oriented comic books right and you have to appreciate during that time most people didn't have televisions in their homes right they were listening to radio and stuff like this and you know there was no internet there was no mass uh instantaneous form of communication so comic books played a huge part huge part in storytelling right and you can see the tape is goes to here right and that's the line of the tape and here's the three extra staples that are in the book right and again this is in really good shape fantastic shape and we're just straight out going to start reading this book where some of the books comic book readings we're doing we flip through the books and decide what to read but we're just going to straight out read it right and let me tell you about the the people that have worked on this okay just before we get into flipping through this 
the stories in this book okay have been written by Harvey Kurtzman and Harvey Kurtzman was again a giant in the industry he was one of the pioneers of Matt of EC comics one of the pioneers of Mad magazine he wasn't part of the management of or the owners of EC comics he was hired on by the Gaines family to do the editing do the writing do the man sort of making sure the books were being published whatever he was working on and he brought in a lot of the artists that you see working for EC comics right so Harvey Kurtzman wrote I believe all the stories in this book and there's four major stories in this book okay this is the only cover that I know of that Jack Davis did for mad magazine okay and it's beautiful and I'm not going to get into the details of what some of these artists creators have worked on why they are giants in the industry because it would take a whole week a day to talk about each one individually from Harvey Kurtzman to Jack Davis Al Feldstein has worked on this book okay um, Mary Severn has done all the colors for this book okay John Severn which is Mary Severn's brother and John Severn brought in Mary Severn into EC comics right so John Severn has done one of the stories I believe in this one or two of the stories one of the stories in this book right and John Severn brought in his sister Mary Severn to start doing coloring for EC comics in 1949 I believe okay and Mary Severn's first published book for EC comics is a romance comic called a moon a girl romance number nine okay and I looked that up and it looks like a beautiful cover uh, comic comic book series that one only ran I think like for uh, four or five issues so I would love to get my hands on it the other people that have worked on this are Wally Wood okay and Wally Wood is huge 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 we've talked about Wally Wood before we've read Wally Wood comics the ones he did for EC comics we've read some stuff from Al Feldstein um, Harvey Weinstein I believe we've read John Severn I believe we read and the other person that's worked on this is Bill Elder and Bill Elder is also a giant in the industry and we've read a, a comic I believe one of the anthologies we read is also Bill Elder okay I'll just leave it there gang uh, if you want to know about more about these creators there's so much out there so much out there okay beautiful cover beautiful cover <laughs> the guy's eyes just crack me up and the the witch giving him the evil and look at the background look at the background on this look at the faces right like mad magazine is known for this right they draw their things uh, their images and the background is full of people making wacko crazy faces like phenomenal look at this dude <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> look at this guy eating his hot dog right you could spend an hour just looking at these faces and there's Jack Davis's signature by the way right there right Look at this guy, he's going for the sandwich, he's going for the hot dog, he's going for the hot dog. Right? Phenomenal, phenomenal. Just absolutely beautiful, right? Just absolutely beautiful. Okay. And wow, wow, wow. I flipped this when I when I picked it up. I had to. Okay, I had to flip this now I'm gonna be as gentle as I can with this book and by the way gang just so you know I have this issue weird fantasy okay weird fantasy number 16 I have this issue right here from EC comics framed on my wall which is fantastic fantastic we have a raid on our twitch channel that we're doing this live on uh, Kabul welcome to our comic book reading and welcome gang we're rating us okay 
So this is EC fans. We are proudest of our science fiction magazine. Magazines look for weird fantasy number 16. Take a look. Number 60. Every time I see this advertisement for this comic book in an EC book, it puts a smile on my face having it on sale now at all newsstands. I can honestly tell you, if I had to if, if I had a time machine to go back in time, okay. One of the first things I would do, I would go and buy comic books like mad. Literally like mad. Let's read the fine print. We must read the fine print in this. Okay. These three extra staples are preventing the pages from flipping over. And you can tell, like, it's the integrity of this book is phenomenal. So is this a good, possibly higher, possibly higher, possibly lower? What do the staples say? Now, getting this focus is going to be difficult at the same time for me to read it. So I'm just going to read it for you guys. Uh, a lot of the other readings we've done, I sort of twist and turn the books a little bit. For this one, I would be pretty careful with it, okay? So let's read this fine print. Mad, December 1952, January 1953, Volume 1, Number 2, published by monthly by Educational Comics and EC Comics. I believe it was initially... Uh, it stood for educational comics and then they changed it up to entertaining comics right take a look so it might have been incorporated as educational comics and then went into entertaining comics on their logo right so everyone refers to them as entertaining comic but ec comics is it right published by monthly by educational comics incorporated at 225 Lafayette Street, New York, 12. New York, William M. Gaines, Managing Editor, Harvey Kurtzman, Editor, Application as Second Class Matter Pending at the Post Office at New York, New York. One year subscription in the U.S., 60 cents plus 15 cents for packaging and mailing. Total 75 cents. Elsewhere, $1.00 entire contents copyrighted 1952 by educational comics incorporated unsolicited manuscripts will not be returned unless accompanied by stamp return envelope no similarity between any of the characters names or persons appearing in this magazine with appearing in this magazine with any of those living or dead is intended and any and that is intended and any such similarity is purely coincidental that is trippy <laughs> it's, i think it's supposed to say not intended but it says intended purely coincidental printed in the u.s let me let me show you this let me read the sentence again no similarity between any of the characters names or persons appearing in this magazine with any of those living or dead oh a living or dead is intended that's right that's right you can't have a double negative in the sentence they started off with no and any such similarity is purely coincidental printed in the usa and just to let you know harvey kurtzman i believe left ec comics in 1956 or 57 uh, because they had a dispute regarding finances and stuff like this okay and then he went on to do amazing great things uh, after that as well right this is the first issue first story in this okay and this story is called hex and this this is written by harvey kurtzman and the artwork is by jack davis and the colors is by mary severn okay and jack davis again is the person that did the cover for this and he was known they say he was known for big feet and big eyes and bulging eyes and very exaggerated movements right we're not going to flip through it right away we're going to read as we go okay. so let's see what this is all about Whew. 
terror department. There are many things going on in the world that are very strange, that have no explanation. Many things in many phases of life, even in the game of baseball. There are the superstitions, the beliefs in the unnatural, and beliefs in the hex. There's, there's a manager in the pit. Oh no! Strike three, you're out. And this is signed by Malvin Davis, by Jack Davis, right? Take a look. Malvin Davis. And look at the detail in this, right? Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sweat socks. The coloring. 1952. Look at the clothes on the guy. The ripples in his clothes. The motion. Just brilliant. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes of the empire. Of the catcher. Look at that. Strike three. Four. The motion of the ball. Awesome. <laughs> Look at the bulging eyes. <laughs> awesome. 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 Oh no. This guy's getting talked to. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm sorry, Leo. I guess this just isn't my day, the batter says. Sorry, he says, sorry. We practically got the pennant in our pockets. Two playoff games tied. The final game, what happens? What happens? Look at the look at the faces of the other players. <laughs> this is one thing you gotta love about Mad. I used to spend personally, I'm just giving you a little thing on it. I used to spend personally hours looking at the background faces of Mad magazine. Never a number two though. Always the ones I could get my hands on in nineteen eighties, seventies, eighties, and a little bit in the nineteen nineties, right? Phenomenal. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens. My pitcher suddenly throws fat pitches, wild pitches. The other team steals bases on us, catches us as napping, and my big time cleanup man can't clean beans. And furthermore, and furthermore. Looking at the witch, but we'll get there, we'll get there. And furthermore, ah, oh, I don't know what's the matter with me. Yeah, I can't seem to buy a hit. You might get hexed, Casey. You might be hexed, Casey. Did you touch second base on your way out? Nine runs behind. <laughs> Yankee. Yuck, 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 yuck. He's freaking out, the guy in the back. Oh, don't give me any of that superstitious stuff, Yeg. Yeggy, maybe, yeah. Took the last bat in the, in the, in the rack. Bad luck to use, bad luck to use last bat in in the rack oh is it i'm not a baseball player i don't know yakety yak 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 the guy's still freaking out look at that 
Oh, he's got a little good luck charm. Here, Casey. Here's a good luck charm. It'll bring you luck. Oh, well, thanks, Yegi. If anything is giving me bad luck, it's her. Oh. Look at that. It's the old lady. Just freaking out. Look at that. Was it Casey? That old dame in the center field bleachers. Every game, that old dame sits and looks at me. A regular girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, that's that the evil eye she's giving you giving you the whammy oh you've been reading too many comic books yeg yegi let's play ball I swear she looks like one of the witches from uh, their horror comics right Yegi sure is superstitious. That old dame is probably mad, madly in love with me. Whoop! Here comes one my way. Clunk. It's going back in the bleachers. Back, back. It's chasing it. Lost his hat. boy Casey lover that's the way to snag him lover oh he got he got the ball nice he fell into the old lady though look at the faces in the background one guy with his tongue hanging out <laughs> with the hat one person's pissed another one's happy look at that Ah, oh, you've been bad luck, doll. We won't win the pennant today. I'll give you luck, Casey. Promise. Promise to marry me, and I'll win you the pennant. Whoa. Look at that. How badly does Casey want the pennant? Oh, he wants it bad. Sure, I'll marry you, doll. Now let me climb out of your lap back into the game. Uh oh. Ouch! Something happened. Is it his back? Oh, that looks painful. dumb dame what's the idea kicking me <laughs> with a pen oh she stabbed him with a pen where is the pen did we see it come on oh it is right there she's holding a little pin but she poked him in the bum what oh uh oh Dumb Dane, what's the idea sticking me with a pin? Blood, Casey. You agree to pact and we'll sign it in blood. It is. It's one of the three witches from the other comics they produced, the horror comics. Very cool, very cool. Right? Very cool, very cool. Tales from the Crypt, if you've ever watched the show. Quick, quick talking to them spectators, Casey, or I'll slap a fine on you. 
crazy old dame sticks me with a pin <laughs> a blood yeah -ha. a pack in blood you belong to me casey yeah -ha -ha, to me Ooh, she's happy she's super happy flop flop ba boom thunder that's funny there ain't a cloud in the sky he says Out in the sky. Check this out. Now listen, Casey. This is it. Last of the ninth inning. Two men down. No men on base. We need a rally, boy. A rally. Go out there, boy. Show me the old clutch hitting casey i used to know boy so go hit a home run for old leo that's the manager going at it here's the announcer well ladies and gentlemen looks like the ball game is just about over spectators beginning to leave casey's coming up to bat he's the here's the wind up the pitch whoop whoop pop fly to the infield Pee Wee Russ standing easily under it flicks his sunglasses and he makes the <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> look at the ball that was a wiggly wiggly <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> funny what's going on Let's get this focus. We need some faces. <laughs> Something's happening. The ball has has hopped away from Pee Wee's glove. This old announcer's eyes must be going mad. Funny. There's a big rub up going on. The umpire is examining the ball. He says nothing wrong with the ball. Casey's safe on first. Play ball. Play ball, the umpire says. Look at the other team member on the side. Not the team member, but the opposing team. They're like, what the hell? They're freaking out. Funny. It looks like the sweat socks are are play, uh, are rallying. Yegi Bora belts one out. Boom. Stan musical Stan musical connects. Bam. Preacher rowboat connects. Bam. Eddie Stunky connects. Bam. Look at those hits. Beautiful, beautiful art absolutely beautiful art what a game folks what a game with two men out the sweat sock have rallied in the last half of the ninth and just need four more runs to clinch the pennant now clean up man clean up man casey steps to the plates oh he's going for it he's going for it his teeth he hits a line drive to the center field Melvin the DiMaggio's got it oh it's right there he's getting it he's going straight to him look at that he's going straight to him 
the pitcher ducks. <laughs> no, the ball is taking a crazy whop sailing over Domingo's head. Out, out, out of the park. Woo. Home run, home run. This is the guy in the background yelling at home run. <laughs> she got himself a husband. <laughs> Look at the faces in the background. Look at the faces in the background. Look at the conehead guy there. Cool. My eyes are freaking bulging. Beautiful. <laughs> I'll show you the full picture because that's what I'm seeing. But let's go panel by panel, gang. Let's go panel by panel. So good, so good. Wow. We're off to New York, track nine. Good luck, Casey. If we can, uh, if we can get through these fans, autograph, Ken, I, I have your autograph. Can I have your autograph? Aha! Uh -huh, good luck, autograph, Casey. Ooh, everybody's happy. Like a Casey's amazed. Or is that Casey? This one is Casey. Check this out. Oh, and the old lady's there. Tales from the Crypt. It's got to be the witch from Tales from the Crypt. Here you are. Here's my autograph. Here. Here you are. Here. Oh, I don't want your autograph, Casey. I want you. Oh. Look at all the fans. Awesome. Kid with the glasses, or the guy with the glasses, getting an autograph. He's super happy. <laughs> the pact. You sign the pact in blood. Pact. Schmack. Be a good, 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 good doll and get lost. Oh, sign a pack of blood. It's not gonna work. Who was that, Casey? Who was that old woman you pushed in the face? Oh, 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 that doll is still following me around, Casey says. Haha, <laughs> look at this guy. He's reading Mad Magazine or Mad Comics. Take a look right there. Mad Comics. Nice. Uh oh. You should have done that. You shouldn't have done that. She's hexed. She'll hex us all. Come off it. With will you will you, Yegi? Come on. Let's get a game of blackjack going, he says. Grand Central Station, New York. Look at the fans, will ya? Nice. Autograph, autograph, Mr. Casey. Oh, please. Oh, oh, oh. Please give me an autograph. Oh, come on. Everybody wants an autograph. He's famous. What a comeback. Okay, here's my autograph. Here you are. Here, here, here you are. One at a time. Yoink. He looks over. 
he's signing the guy's head. <laughs> oh, funny. Funny. Casey, Casey, everywhere. Look at all the autographs. Look at all the autographs. Casey, 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 everywhere. And the witch is there. Sign and blood. Beautiful. Look at this guy. <laughs> the hair coming out of his nose. <laughs> or is that a mustache? I don't know. Oh, too funny. Too funny. Too funny. Too funny. No more, no more autographs today. Sorry, no more. Casey, Casey, Casey. Everywhere. Look at people trying to get more. No more, I said. Nobody allowed in here. Get, get that here. Get out of here. Phew. At last, I'm alone in my hotel room. Alone at last, alone at lo lo ah. Ah, what is he saying? <laughs> She's the old lady. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> the old lady with a hand in the broom. The old witch with a hand in the broom. Look at that face. The pact. I've come to fulfill the pact. The pact we made in blood, she says. Right? The pact we made in blood. tell you Leo I heard a horrible I heard a horrible shriek in Casey's room horrible shriek here we got the series in our pockets and what happened what happened open up Casey that's the manager what happened what happened crash they break the door down the window the window he jumped how could he do this to me the manager says how could he do this to me twenty stories to the ground how could that Filthy double crossing rat kill himself. He's freaking out. Yegi, I can't bear to look. Is the body badly mutated? <laughs> mutilated? Did he land flat or on his head? I can't stand the sight of blood. He didn't land at all. He, he, whoa, Leo, Leo, what's that up there? He says. Where? Up there? Where? Where? Up there? Where? What? Who? Who? How? What? Boop. Oh, that little man that he gave him, little uh, lucky charm he gave him. I thought I saw two people riding on a broomstick. I, I, I thought, ow, boop, blink. It's that lucky charm Casey had. And there they go. 
happy couple riding off in the sunset or the moonset was that fell out of the sky a good luck charm what what who 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 how the charm the charm I gave Casey I got a feeling Casey's gone for good I got a feeling we gonna lose the series I got a feeling we've been hexed he says great story great story fun fantastic this one is a Tarzan story right and Tarzan is huge it was a lot huger back then back in the day I guess right and this story the Tarzan story Melvin of the Apes story okay so this is Melvin and the the story is written by um, what do you call it uh, Harvey Kurtzman right and the artwork is done by John Severn and the colors again is done by Mary Severn okay <clears throat> check this out the, the grill is reading crypt of horror look at that crypt of horror nice 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 oh it's got four monkeys or grill is going at it little baby eek ook 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 Let's read the little intro to this. Jungle Department, Africa, wild untamed land where time stands tangled in the jungle, Africa, home of the fierce Goa Glee Pygmies, the terrible Nagambawali cannibals, and the horrible Uka Baluk. Congo headhunters, also home of the jungle ape man, an ape man named Melvin. Funny. And check this out John Severn was signing his name for this Melvin Severn. Haha, <laughs> I didn't know that. That it's connected to the name of Tarzan or Melvin. Very cool, very cool. Here are the names of the the dangers in Africa during that time, I guess, of the fierce Gumawali pygmies, terrible Nagumbawali cannibals, and the horrible Uka Baluka Balukongo Balukongo headhunters. Right? Very cool. <laughs> Tarzan's got a little band-aid on his on his foot nice butterfly cool. ho hum me melvin of apes Tied this nonsense. I think I go home to Jane. I think I give war cry of King of Apes. Ook, 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 ook. Ho ha ha. Ho ha. Melvin says. That's his war cry. Tarzan was a different war cry. Ah, 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 ah. Something like that. Tarzan would say right I remember those war cries for Tarzan if you've never watched the black and white Tarzan movies do so they're not bad historically might be a little sensitive but hey me forget where is boy Jane tell me 
keep eye on boy where boy hey look at that muscle <laughs> muscle whoosh Was there a boy in the big paddle? No, oh, there was no boy here. <laughs> Check out the boy. <laughs> this is the Oh, ha. Hey, Melvin of Apes. Hear me come. Hear me, hear me come. Hear come, boy. <laughs> clump. Crash clump. He's huge. Look at that. <laughs> Whoop. Thud. <laughs> He's not very graceful. Funny, funny. Oops, me get sun crap and leg, but here me come, Melly. <laughs> ho ha. Clear him, deck mouth. Me gonna swing out of out on Vina. Here he comes. Oh my. <laughs> he went to grab the vine and fell straight down. <laughs> Boy miss. What's he doing, the boy? Oh my god, I hope he's not dead. Too funny. Let's check this out. Boy, how many times me tell you to use hands when swing from vine? <laughs> Show off. For that, you walk home. Crash. goes Tarzan he's like swinging like mad ho oh, at last after much swinging swiftly or aerial skyway in treetops me come in sight of jungle house where Jane waits <laughs> hello Jane Hello, Jane. What cooking? Oh, Mel. Jane afraid. I hear Tantor the elephant talking with the gumbo, the lion. Tantor say, Uka ba bala, bala Congo going on warpath. <laughs> what for supper? Hmm. Chop. Jumbo leaves and how many how many grits home how many grits Melvin when Ukabung balon can go on go on warpath they take heads and shrink them Melvin say Ukabunka won't go on warpath please say <laughs> so, he's got a picture of his mother on the frame on the wall what's that thing there I don't know oh wow Jane's got a machine gun listen Melvin is war drum of Okal 
Balakonga the serious? Dom ti dom. Dom bom ti ti 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 bom ti ti. The war drums are pounding. We don't have to take none of that baloney, Mal. Let's go, let's go out and blast them. Oh, Jane's serious business. Oh, Jane, you got fire stick of many thunders. Malvin no like fire stick. Bad white man invention. Malvin break. Oh, clunk. Hits Jane on top of the head. Yikes. Bum ti 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 bum bum ti ti bum. Come, Jane. We go pick up a uh, spoor of uk uka bala konga. Spoor of uka bala konga. Me tell him to cut that noise out. <laughs> oh, Jane. We pick up a uh, spoor of trail. Man scent growing stronger is very strong now. <laughs> They're standing in the background. <laughs> sniff, 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 sniff. Funny. <coughs> the Ukal Uka. Balakanga, the Ukal Balakanga. Check out their designs. Uh, one of them is Shamrock. Uh, three leaf clover on his head. Or is that a clover anyway? Ho ha! Stand back, Jane. Me gonna fight. Me give war cry of Nagoa, big bully. Look at Jane. She swooned by him. <coughs> ha. Uka. Ukapala kunga konga put them up me hear how you shrink heads oh i just slapped all of them in one shot ha me know how you got strange mysterious formula to shrink them Hey, but you know shrinking me shrunk him, my head. Come on, put him up, put him up. He's taking him on. Look at that. Oh, he took him all on. Look at that. Ha ha, me knock out all ukapo, uk, ukapala conga, except this one punk. Me knock him out, then give victory cry of Nagardi, big bull ape. What does the kid's diaper say? Whoop, whoop a fun club? Hoppy fan club, hoppy fan club. Oh, he's putting a little dart in the thing. Ow, puck. The kid darts Tarzan or Melvin. Melvin, the uk, 
ukabala kangas are taking us away to shrink heads jane where the old so caliber fire stick <laughs> you sure i busted it <laughs> he's looking for the machine gun uh oh skull cap he says on his uh, skeleton helmet melvin we're gonna fix your wagon we're gonna tie you to four elephants and tear you in four equal parts any last request old man he says look like at tarzan that's not good or melvin he's in trouble yes just let melvin give one little oh cry of bull ape and kanga in trouble oh he's calling out melvin is in trouble melvin is in trouble melvin is in trouble melvin is in trouble all the apes are saying thinking oh melvin is calling out oh with all his might all the animals oh ah, melvin is in trouble melvin is in trouble melvin is in trouble melvin is in trouble oh ah, he keeps on going even the ants hear him oh ah, melvin is in trouble melvin is in trouble Melvin's got some connections. Come on. We can focus this guy. There we go. Check out all the animals. H2O. Haha. <laughs> oh, some of the animals are mad. There's like a dinosaur in the background or something. Skunk riding a dog. Butterflies coming. Birds are coming. Is that the cuckoo bird? I think the cuckoo bird's extinct now. Oh, and the whales are coming. Look at that. Serious connection. The gorillas, the lions, the giraffes, the rhinos, the elephants, the zebras. Oh, they're tearing down the village. Look at the guy in the top flying. Look at that guy. This guy's running away. <clears throat> Surrender. Surrender. Camerad. Fingers. White flag. We surrender. Fin. Fins. Fins I got. I guess those are different sayings of surrender in different parts of the world at the time. Melvin, Melvin, us uka balloon kangas give up. You big boss around. Here, from now on, forgive us. We give you gifts and all all kinds bribes. They say. Oh, he's put his foot on the, the chief's or the shaman's uh, head there. Is 
yard or going on outside. First, we have Big Feast. Friend Warthog Warts and little leftover hunch of explorer we had in Icebox. <laughs> the eight explorer. <laughs> then we give you gifts. Voodoo doll you can stick pins in. Keep your mate in line. Ouch. Oh, they're putting a little pins in the voodoo doll. Melvin is grinning. Then we give you a couple of extra wives. This one here, she kiss you. Oh boy, you stay kissed. <laughs> now, for main gift of evening, very fine gift made by Secret Ol Uka Bala Konga Formula. Made good television set decoration. Bring special gift, clap, clap. No, it can't be, Jane says. Chief Chow Chef. Oh. His shrunken head, his boy. Oh no, the horror. Ugh. Go away, boy. You're repulsive. Oh, come on, Melv. We good. Me swing on vine with two hands now. Take boy back to treehouse. Will you? Huh? Will you? Huh? Huh? Will you? Wow, they shrunk the old the kid's head. Poor kid. Look at the size of them. They're totally repulsed by him, by the way. There's no way you could eat enough to feed that body through that head. Through that mouth, anyway. Wow. That was funny. <coughs> oh, look at this. EC fans. We at EC are proudest of our science fiction magazines. Look for Weird Science. I don't have this one. This is Weird Science number 16, I think. Another new trend, entertaining comics on sale now at all newsstands. Lady in Mascara. This is the center of the comic, check it like. So this is the center of the comic, you can see the two staples, right? There and here, okay. And then there's the extra staples holding it together. So this is an extremely good shape. I'm not sure why they put the three extra staples. I think they were just doing it for preservation, uh, which is cool. You know what? Time permitting, gang. Time permitting. I think we'll skip the text on this. Okay. So we can make sure we can uh, read the other two stories. What did these guys say? 14 big pages in full color. Stories, Bible stories. That's cool. Look at this. Picture stories from the Bible. Look at that. Focus. Too small for it to focus, maybe. Picture stories from the Bible. That's cool. Calling Cosmo McBoon. Yeah, we'll skip the text stories. That way we can read the all the comic book stories, the 
drawn stories. This has got to be Wally Wood. This is Gukum. This is the Gukum story. And science fiction. And it's penciled and inked by Wally Wood. And it's signed melvin wood so it looks like everything here was signed melvin no that's jack davis was the first one signed melvin as well it was check and look at this this one is that is super cool i didn't realize that so this one signed melvin davis right and melvin davis is um jack davis right so they signed it melvin i believe in tribute to the Melvin story because the Melvin character must have been a pretty big character right and then this one is the story of Melvin and it's signed Melvin Severin right hilarious super cool super cool this next story is the calling uh, what's it called again Gukong, Gukong, <laughs> how do you pronounce this? Gukong, Gukong, and it's Wally Wood art, but it's signed Melvin Wood. Very cool, very cool. And Wally Wood, you will, you will recognize his art if you've appreciated his art for a while. One day, um, I plan on having everything Wally Wood. Uh, something to shoot for right everything Wally would ever did good come let's look at the pictures first before we read right going 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 take a look at this so much detail so much detail so spaceship is landed boink boink the boink and there's a spaceship person landing. The boink. Let's look at all the people. <laughs> look at the kid. Cool. People are running towards the landing or the crash site i guess four-star military general very cool let's read the, let's read the right up up top science fiction department night <clears throat> A mighty gleaming spaceship whoops gracefully out of the starry sky making a gentle a gentle landing on the Nevada sands inside Glaf Nerfnik Martian sits shaking shaking and shaking and haggard from his escape from the Gukum. Maybe this is Area 51, eh? Gosh, a rocket ship. I don't think I speak in his nose. <laughs> it must have come from Mars. He must be a marshmallow. Hey, you speak um English? We newspaper reporters. You got um couple of words for us? Press savvy? For press savvy? You got a you got um couple of words for us? Press for press savvy? 
How many arms and legs does he have? Oh, he is speaking. Oh, uh -huh. as in most science fiction stories, I have an automatic translator machine that will enable us to converse. But I'm hungry. Shall we eat? He says, or she says, or it says. He's got four arms. Take a look. Ah, this is better. If you reporters will excuse me, I'll tell you my story while I eat. Waiter, let me have some uh, sweet hominy grits and fried jumbo jumbo leaves. I've never eaten those before. my story starts starts as a happy youth my story starts as a happy youth strolling along Guan Nas glare canal in the little martian city of brooklyn gallif with my grandfather Come, little glaf, glarf. It is time to tell you the facts of life, to tell you of the Great Wall. Look at the lady in the background walking like a gigantic pet. The Great Wall, built by our ancestors many years ago, the grandfather says. For the first time, little glaf, glarf. I shall take you outside the Great Wall. Gee, grandfa grandfather, there ain't nothing this side of the Great Wall. Nothing, Graf, nothing. Here, Graf, nothing but the Gukum. Nothing but the Gukum. He's got a yo-yo. A lollipop. Oh, uh, this is the gukum. Like it's literally gukum. Guk. Check that out. Miles and miles of uh, shimmering jelly-like pink gukum. This is why our ancestors built the Great Wall. Little gl glarf. To protect us from the gukum i'm afraid i don't quite follow you grandfather this gukum lives little glarf right now the gukum sleeps lies dormant for 500 years it has slept but soon it will walk and come after us this gukum is fantastic, like a, th like a thing from Earth. Hmm. And so I lived in the little city of Brooklyn Glarf of the Goa Sun Glarf Canal. As I grew up at the manhood, I decided to be a physicist. Look at all the people. Cool. 
being a particularly brilliant student interested in the future welfare of my planet I devoted all my time to uh, perfecting a rocket ship that would that would get me the heck out of there in case the Gukum climbed the wall the Great Wall he's making a skate pod for himself I plus one move the decimal point e equals mc squared don't forget the x factor a minus the square root equals zibin on zvor good plus the square root zut sut Ruti tut tut glarf glarf blasted man how many times have i told you mal malvin not to interrupt me while i'm thinking Splat. oh i think malvin was sort of a derogatory word that people use this is sort of like the r word you can't use on twitch maybe Melvin interesting splat Suddy old fellow lost my temper nerves you know what with this filthy uh, gookum business that's that's it Glarf the gookum the 500 500 years are up the gookum it's beginning to stir oh, oh in the background people are running oh, everyone's in panic mode The gukum was beginning to stir. Yes, the vast shimmering pink pools of shiny gukum now began to throb and quiver, began to move in a great slimy glob. Clunk, smack, smoke, which glump. Move and beat against the, se the secret insulation of the great wall. And some, somehow, a stenchy, wenchy piece of gukum got past the wall. Slurp, splash, murup, grup. They're all standing on top of the wall, looking at the gukum. Oh, <laughs> gukum. <laughs> Gukum's got into the got inside the wall. Look, it must be Gukum, cause jam don't shake like that. Loop, slurp. Uh oh. Quick, get it. Gloop. I'll smash it with this club. No, not with that wooden club. Someone says. Ah. Look at the little rabbit. The cuckoo feeds on anything organic. Look, it's eating the club. Oh no. This is like the blob, the movie. Very cool. I don't think the blob, the movie came out. I think it came out beef after this, 1952. Glop. Slurp. Uh oh. The tinchy, winchy piece of gluckum is growing bigger smack slurp gloop 
it's slobbering after us. Oh, everyone's running away. Oh, look at the three-eyed kid. Or the six-eyed kid, maybe. Three-eyed kid with glasses. <laughs> There's a guy here with a house on his head. Ah, two toes. Wally Wood. The brilliance of Wally Wood. And of course, Harvey Kurtzman. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people there. Head for the hills, boys. Oh, the Gukum has gone huge. We'll have to build another wall. Broken limb. Glarf is doomed. Bloop. Smack. Grup. Everybody's panicked. They're all running. Ah. Uh, there's another three-eyed person there, too. Look at that. This guy's getting bigger, the Martian. Look at him. I'm pretty sure he's bigger. Ah, uh, yes. Soon this gulping slurping globbering gukum had swallowed up everything but my insulated laboratory there i work feverishly putting the finishing touches on my own rocket ship but as I worked, a tinchy, winchy, skinchy, inchy piece of gookum squeezed through the keyhole. Donk! Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Clang, clang, clang. Uh oh. Now he's nervous. Look at that. Well, more nervous. Oh, look at his little spaceship. Look at that gookum, eating everything organic in the laboratory. I must finish my rocket. Gloop, gloop. He's just eating everything up. Look how it circles my insulated platform. It's thinking, figuring out a way to get at me. Oh, he's gotten a little bit bigger. Oh, he's going for a door. He's opening the door. Horrors! The gookum is smarter than I thought. He's climbing up the, up to the doorknob. Oh, the gookum is actually thinking something. Look at that! <laughs> Look at the little creature in the guy's head. Look at that! Cute. He's in the other panel too. Oh, the whole gookum. Gookum is in. Look at that. There. The last piece of my rocket ship is in place. Ah, oh, gloop. Sloop. Clunk. Clunk. Now, blast off. Snap, snap. Vroom. Oh, he's just holding on to the rocket ship. He's not even in it yet. There it goes. Yes, gentlemen. I escaped from the Gukum on Mars only by the barest bit of sheer luck the gookum shall stay on the rampage for a while and then it will go back to sleep again Look, 
He's picking his teeth. Pick. Oh, nail the guy in the eye. Punk. And then it will lie in flat pink shimmering pools, innocent as a quiet pond of water. Nevertheless, sinister, dormant, gukum. People are looking at each other like, what? But why talk of that? Here I am eating a fine earthian meal. I shall laugh, haha, -ha, and be happy. The gukum is out of my life forever. Here is your dessert, sir. Let's go, nice Sunday. Cherry Jello Parfait, topped with American ice cream. That is. Oh, this, how you call it, ice cream is good. Now, what is underneath? What is he doing? He's freaking out. that how you call it cherry jello parfait how we call it in mars is dormant gookum ah, jello is the gookum <laughs> how long has jello been around funny the artwork is brilliant Your detail and expressions and over the top aspects of it. Beautiful. 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 What's this one? This is a crime department. So mad. It had basically four different stories. It had a terror story. It had a jungle story. It has a sci-fi story and it has a crime story and this is the crime story one the first one it's a terror it's a terror it's the hex story is a terror they're calling it very cool so an anthology with four different types of stories for their fans very cool very cool and this one the artwork again the script uh, is written by harvey kurtzman and the artwork is by bill elder and uh, the colors is mary severin again and did he mar he did he signed it melvin elder check that out melvin elder very cool i have to look this up the melvin thing more it must have kind of some kind of meaning from uh, that period beautiful beautiful look at that oh dig dig what is this this is a crime department cool i wonder if the first original uh, mad comic books they all had these four different i have to look into this four different genres that they told stories of very cool what does the text say let's take a look at it crime department all you all you out there who aspire to be criminals you who follow the path of evil this story is for you the story of a fellow who dug his way into bank vaults ah that's what it is who dug his way out of jails and who dug up dug up in the electric and who wound up in the electric chair follow follow fellow by name of melvin moore mole melvin mole was the name melvin in this one too 
Martian. No, there was no Melvin in this, in the write up on this one. So the name of this guy is Melvin Moore, Mole, right? So Melvin might be a name they use. Uh, at right now we call them the. Uh, what do we call them when people do silly things and hurt themselves? Darwin Awards. Maybe Melvin was sort of something like that. Look at this drawing. Bill Elder. Beautiful. Look at the cat in the underpass. Cat on the smokestack. Oh, the little bats there. Probably a cat looking in from the window of the abandoned building. And there is Melvin Mole. Fish carcass. Ah, oh, there's a little rat in the shoe. flies or moths I guess gathering around the light bulb pretty cool let's see what this is all about dick 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 right uh -huh. oh there's some guy passed out in the garbage can look at the rats ha <laughs> ha Dick, 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 dick. Ha ha. Straight to the bank vault. Dick, 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 dick. Last national bank. This predates Fantastic Four Mole Man by like 10 years. Oh my god, look at this. He sort of looks like Mole Man. Fantastic Four, I believe, came out in 1962. Look at this. Look at this. Under the bank door. Dig, dig, dig. Nice. Last National Bank. Night deposit box there. Oh, look at that vault. That thing's huge. Uh huh. Into the bank. Dick, 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 dick. Reward $20,000. Wanted dead. Who's that picture of? It looks like Stalin. 20,000 rubles. Oh, so this is. Where is this? this Russia he <laughs> he now under the vault dig dig over to the money haha <laughs> dig dig money nice green money he <laughs> he Ooh, it was a trap. They caught him. Digging all the nice money. Oh, he dig the doop. Uh oh, look at all the guns pointing. teeth oh oh he brings out a machine gun John law you flat foots won't put me in jail no not me not me 
Melvin Mole, no, not me, never. Whoa, look at all the bullets put up to the cops. He just gunned them down. Look at that. He's just going crazy. Melvin Mole. Oh, but they caught him. Look at that. Inside Mole. pointing at him watch him man he's a slippery little rat you've dug your last hole mole you're under control Here's your lunch, Mole. But don't try anything. We're wise to your days, to your ways. Slippery rock. Little thing on the back, on the wall. We know about the time you dug your way into Fort Knox, so don't try anything. on this so I can flatten out the page a little so we can read it nicely we know about the time you dug your way out of Devil's Island so don't try anything <laughs> look at the guns coming around the corner the jailkeeper is a little nervous he's sweating Mind, why, mind my words, Mole. You're heading straight for the electric chair. Let's go, man. What does his little bib say? Patrices. Patrices. Clang. Oh, they left him with a spoon. Big mistake. Uh-huh. Dig, 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 <laughs> dig. Little mole man, clank. Oh God, he looks pretty happy. Oh, he's digging himself out. Look at this already. Uh huh. Dig, dig, dig. What's all the back stuff say? Marvin loves George. Adel loves Harvey. Milty hates Fulton. Olga loves Johnny. Vote for Harding. Dina loves Jack. Willie loves money. <laughs> Kilroy was here. Lincoln assassination. There's a little thing there. Lincoln assassination on the wall. Take a look. Cool. A little bit of graffiti. Dig, dig, dig. So he's digging himself out again. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. So let's just zoom it along. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, it comes to a call box. It's things cops used to have. What does that say? Excuse me a moment, Mike, while I call into the station house. Sure, Pat. Dig, dig. See a little ripple on the call box. He hit the call box. Oop. Call. Oop. What 
do you mean? Oop. That you at the desk, Murphy? Why? Oop. Oh man, he pulls out a machine gun and guns him down again. Johnny Law. Coppers won't put me in jail. No, not me. No, nine. Night. No, never. Not. We got him go crazy. This guy's a menace to society. Oh, they're throwing again. Inside mall. Ptung. Mole. Pun. My soul. You have dug your last hole. We're putting you in solitary confinement. He's not a happy camper. Look at that. You slippery, slippery little rat. You use your lunch spoon to dig out of the last cell, but you won't do it again. We're going to put you in this uh, completely bare cell without a single object to dig with. Brisky, he's just picking his teeth. We've taken all your clothes that have buttons. We've we've clipped your fingers and toenails. And we've taken your false teeth. Now let's see you escape. Oh, he did a little click and a little tooth is coming off. Look at that. Doink. Right there. This guy's not in good shape. Oh, and he threw the little toothpick. Check that out. What does that say? Help keep our uh, dungeons clean. There's a little uh, garbage can there. Just remember, Mole, one of these days, you're heading straight for the electric chair. Blink. Clunk. Ha ha. Dig, dig, dig. Aha, uh -huh. dumb, dumb John Law, John Law Copper left this too thick. Aha, uh -huh. dick, dick, dick. Post no bills, the sign says. He's finding a lot of stuff in the digging. What does that say? Gimbal's basement. K. Raton. Dick, 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 dick. He's just digging himself out. Look at that. Dick, 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 dick. Glug, glick, 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 glick. Glub, glug, dick. Dick, dick. I'm hitting sewer pipes and subways. I must be coming to the city. He says. Uh huh. I hear lots of feet moving, lots of people walking, a big crowd. That's what I'll do. I'll get lost in a crowd. Dig, dig. He got into a policeman's ball. Oops. He's a good digger, but bad luck. Policeman's ball. Oh man, he pulls out guns again. 
Johnny Law. Wah, ha, ha. Wah, hi, hi, hi. Pow, blue. Man, the guy's just killing so many people, just wasting them. Oh, they, they threw him in a hole. Look at that. They literally threw him in a hole. Shaved him and everything. Oh, he's still digging himself out. What the? Inside, mall, plunk, clunk. Shaved his head. Look at that. We've taken your clothes away. We've taken your clothes away and shaved off your hair. Now let's see you escape. Huh. They didn't take away this here nostril hair. <laughs> nostril hair. He's digging himself out with a nostril hair. Click. Uh-huh. Dick, 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 dick. Look at that. Dick, dick, dick. Oh, I found a little treasure chest. Dick, 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 dick. So he just keeps on digging with a nostril there. Poof. Can't go on. Poof. Gone far enough. Poof. Can't dig another inch. On himself where look at that man he sure looks ugly though look at that look at that look at that look at that uh huh no jail can hold Mel Melvin Mole uh huh where where am i uh-huh where did i dig to oh oops he says johnny law or john law have a seat mole ac dc occupancy of what does that say occupancy of more than two people is unlawful and dangerous the electric chair and that's the story the story of Melvin mole the fellow who dug who dug the fellow who headed straight for the electric chair Wow that one wasn't a funny one well it was sort of funny the way they presented it but a lot of people got wasted Look at this one special introductory offer all in one cigarette lighter and full pack case <laughs> look at this personalized with your name for men and women dollar 98 wow your name engraved in 23 karat gold without extra cost new improved what does this say let's read the advertisement comic may I please have a cigarette John sure they're here someplace why they're all bent gosh now I can't find a match what a beautiful case and lighter may may I help have a cigarette and a light <laughs> the guy steals the girl by having a lighter in a case. Hey, where can I get a combination case and lighter like that? Just send a coupon to H and S Sales in Chicago. I'll get one too. What a man! What a man, eh? Clip and mail coupon. What a man! What does this say? Be a success as a as a radio television technician. Extra money in spare time, good pay job, bright future. 
radio television technician america's fastest growing industry offers you two free books show how mail coupon cool and of course a muscle thing muscle ad check the kind of body you want right in the coupon below and i'll prove how easy you can get it ah there's a little thing here what are they offering what are they offering more weight solid in the right places broader chest and shoulders more powerful arms and grip slimmer waist and hips better regulatory digestion cleaner skin more powerful leg muscles better sleep more energy oh, that's cool at least they broke it up right very nice read very cool read the first story i found to be the funniest mm. hexed funny what was the third story oh yeah wally wood the alien the first story i found to be the funniest fantastic read gang nice and it is in very good shape it's crazy that they have the extra staples and the tape in there i guess this is something that some people did just to preserve the comics i can't see them doing it like i don't think there's too much wear and tear inside the comic so they did this uh just to preserve it at some point right i wonder what this is categorized as other than tape and extra spot extra staples right very cool read very cool read and a huge thank you to the two people you know who you are that send in the funds for us to do these this buy anyway fantastic fantastic super cool super cool i hope you guys enjoyed gang what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn on the 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 chat and the the other uh camera and the not notifications and stuff i didn't bring any extra tape so i'm not gonna close it off right now i threw the other tape away so let's turn these on <laughs> nice read very nice read look at all the chat browse Ch -ch -ch. super cool a truth thanks chicho awesome read enjoyed it very much great start to the weekend great start to the weekend fantastic start the guy looks like uh the guy li likes to play with the mole man the one was somewhat unsettling yeah the last one was very unsettling and he looks kind of miserable at the end he's no kidding yeah he got electrocuted he really digs money he really digs money oh yeah we're gonna be raiding spider-man how are we doing for time oh yeah we're at two hours and 15 minutes we really took our time with this read which was fantastic gang super fun graham would you consider it a poor taste to buy up comic books and rebind them in hardcover like no i don't think it's poor taste i have a couple two or three comic books that are hard bound and i tried to get more from ebay auctions but uh i lost the bids right but i have uh, two at least hardcovers with uh dr strange from 1970s series the first 30 issues in hardcover um i don't think it's poor taste but if you do it to very expensive books they do lose their value if you do it right uh for now anyway in the future they might be worth more because they're complete collections they're nicely kept um you know the market changes but they will lose their value um, if you buy up very expensive books and bind them but if you're buying recent books and stuff like that um, it's doable or things that aren't going for extremely expensive price because you are removing them from 
the collector's market uh, ostensibly to a certain degree there are collectors that look for the bound books there are collectors that look for the bound books i wouldn't mind having a bookcase with a lot of bound series from front to back right you're basically creating your own hardcovers right because i know the buying hardcover books so it was um, something uh, i was thinking yeah yeah but they do you will decrease their value without a doubt without a doubt okay so they will uh lose a lot of value some of them some like for example if you did it for mad one to ten put them the value would drop big time on them so it's just not cost effective you've got money to throw away on them then sure All right why not gang uh thank you for being here mods i don't know if there was any business to take care of but i'm glad uh, you guys were here put my mind at ease reading this and making sure uh nothing was going on for our archival purposes it would be in indispensable yeah agreed graham agreed but i don't know what kind of glues and stuff they use for binding you could use the rope right hemp rope or whatever rope uh to bind the stuff so I, i'm not very good at it i, I don't know the uh, the logistics of it i would just uh, sew them together very cool very cool graham yeah yeah for our archival purposes it would work right gang i'm gonna do our little ending part just let you guys know where i'm from or where i am and where you can find further info and then we're gonna raid spider-man i just gotta grab spider-man's channel uh, elder god can you grab me or graham can you grab me spider-man's channel name that way i'll do the raid and then spider-man that way i won't have to look for it um aside from that gang uh we're on patreon if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon.com backslash chicho chycho i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share like right i hope you enjoyed the reading we will be doing a lot more in the future okay and we're going to do a lot of live streams about a lot of different things if you do have the means supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to support this project if not you can just follow the work i don't put anything behind paywalls right so you can just see what's what we're up to and in the future if you do have the means supporting this work um, is a great way to do it through patreon we are live streaming on twitch at uh, twitch.tv backslash chicho live oh you can't do it i'll grab it elder god it's all good uh chicho live and uh, if you want to participate in the chat be here while we're doing this live twitch is where you want to be at i do announce these live streams as well as other things on twitter gavs minds vk lo and parlor now so we're there as well okay um, a lot of the live streams where we're doing open discussions about politics economics whatever else as long as there's no visuals involved we're going to upload the audios to soundcloud okay and the video is going to go to bitshoot and youtube right technical difficulties permitting uh, go on bitshoot and sensors permitting go on, on youtube and if um, you are on YouTube, you want to support this project uh, by joining uh, YouTube's membership is also a great way to support this project. Okay. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to raid one of our mods channels. Okay. And he's playing a game, a comic book game, Spider-Man game. So I'm going to type raid here. Boop. Raid Spider-Man. And uh, thank you for being here, gang. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Fantastic raid. Thank you to the two people. You know who you are that supported, uh, funded this buy. Okay, we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have had this if the funding didn't come in. Most definitely, right? So we're going to continue to do you know packet different auctions that are on a, on ebay uh, and if conventions come uh, if any, things open up again 
I'll see what I can grab at uh, comic book shows and stuff like this but most of it all of it is going to be uh, eBay right now so we'll keep on pecking at it and if we get our hands on anything cool we'll definitely uh, read them and I will be going through my comic collection and grabbing probably five more books to give everybody a selection of what we should read and uh, we'll in the next reading streams uh, i'm not sure when they're going to be probably within the next couple of weeks or so we'll have a selection of books to go through and there's going to be superheroes in there okay aside from that gang we're about to go to spider-man you guys ready and my pleasure gang i'm glad you guys were here i'm glad you guys enjoyed it was fantastic i hope you have a fantastic day fantastic weekend okay bye everyone And it's, it's counting down to the raid. Viewers ready to raid. We're all going. I'm Batman. We will be reading a Batman. And we're going, gang, to Spider-Man. Bye, everyone. Oh, yeah. I got to stop the thing. <laughs>